Hey guys, so I want to give you all an update. I promised you all in the last video that I would let you know when AF arrived, if everything was going normally, normally, um, in my cycle, and what was going on, when the official date of my HSG would be, and all that. So, I'm here to update you because, oddly enough, it is time. So, you'll probably realize that it should be too early to let you know. I'll get into that in a minute. First, I wanted to correct um, my weight. So, in my last video, I told you all that I joined Weight Watchers. I'm really enjoying the program. I'm really liking it. I have a couple questions from my last video that I will answer in another video. Um, but I'm going to go home and sleep. So, yeah. Anyway, so the thing I wanted to correct was I actually started at 182.4, which is basically 10 pounds up from where I had been like less than a month before that. It was crazy. So that sucked. But um, as far as up until last week, last Wednesday, I was down to 170. 4.4 which is eight pounds down. I don't know what I am this week because I got so sick on Monday at around 10 a.m. I started feeling kind of queasy Nothing to be concerned about. I was kind of hoping against hope that Maybe it was a good sign. I was getting like early nausea for a pregnancy or something. No um, I should know better than that. So, you know, I, I quickly Got that thought out of my head and dismissed it but I'm going to be drinking water through the video because I'm still, I still need to really make sure I'm hydrated. Um, by 6 p.m., every 5 or 10 minutes, I was like belching and it tasted like rotten eggs. Sulfuric belches every 5 or 10 minutes. It was absolutely disgusting. By uh, 8, 8.30... Um, I had other issues going on. It lasted through Tuesday, which I took the day off for. Um, I took the day off Wednesday just to make sure I was 100% and a lot better and not contagious. I'm still not quite 100%, but I'm not contagious and I made it fine through the day. So <sighs> that's that. So I did not go to Weight Watchers on Wednesday evening to weigh in because I was just asleep and sick and all that so I don't know where I'm at I still have no desire to eat I haven't eaten anything since besides a saltine here and there since Monday afternoon and I'm not hungry um, and my doctor said to go ahead and just not eat except for a saltine here and there or a piece of toast here and there until um, my appetite returned because that is all a part of the virus running its course. So that's what's up with that. I have no idea where my weight is, but it, at this point, honestly, even if I was like six pounds down, which I really doubt, um, I know that most of that would gain back anyway, just because it, my body just purged itself of every single thing possible without dying. Um, not pain wise, but yucky feeling wise. I think that is the worst I have ever felt in my life. And to top it all off, Wednesday morning, da, da da AF arrived. So, this is eight days early from what my normal has been the past year. Now, remind you, my cycles have never been normal until after I took Clomid, those three rounds, and then I was down to a T. And then the, I was two days late with the chemical and then I was four days early last cycle and now I'm eight days early from the normal and four days earlier from when AF came last cycle. I am not completely sure when I ovulated because I kind of slacked off on the um, temping. So I called in yesterday and officially my HSG will be Tuesday at three. I will upload a video about how that went and um, my doctor is actually the one that's doing it. So um, I will have all the results at, after, yeah, after, at, at and after the appointment. So um, 
I will be able to let you all know what's going on, if they found anything, if they didn't find anything, what the news is. And then um, my RE appointment got boosted up to April 27th because of um, my cycle moving. But now I'm probably going to move it up even more just because I don't want to wait until we're in the next cycle to be um, going to the RE for the first time and then having to wait that cycle too to start things. I would rather be a little bit early and then get pregnant and have wasted a little bit of money on an RE visit rather than not because if we don't get pregnant, which I'm highly doubting, um, so if we don't get pregnant, then at that point when AF arrives, we can jump into a treatment. So that's, that's the plan. That's what's going on. I hope you're all feeling great. I'll talk to you later.